Hey guys, what's up? Christine Seal, the High Level Queen here. And today we are going to talk about an exciting new feature called Smart Lists. What are Smart Lists? Why should I use a Smart List? And how will Smart Lists help me? We're gonna cover all that stuff today. So stay tuned. And don't forget to check the link in the description for a free 14 day trial of High Level where you're gonna get my course and snapshot as a bonus. And with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go to contacts and then contacts. All right, so this is the normal view. Okay, this is what you always saw before and nothing special here to see. However, when you click on smart lists, look at this, you are gonna get this incredible screen with amazing capabilities. It's kind of like Excel, on the filters, except it's in high level. What? Okay, so look at this over here. See where it says add filter? Check this out. So what I'm gonna do, I have a ton of duplicates in here, okay? I have people that came in through my chat bot. I have people that came in through my chat bot and then set up an appointment with me, so they're duplicate. I have people that I have different, or even the same phone number and email whatever i'm going to show you how to fix this problem okay because this really bothers my ocd okay so what we're going to do first the possibilities are really endless here but i'm going to show you how to do the uh the duplicate thing all right so what we're going to do here is where it says add filter we are going to do tag and then we're going to say is now i have all these agencies in my account agency. But then I also want to add a filter where it says phone empty. Now these are Now these are all of the people in my chat bot <laughs> which is crazy. You can see here I have 842 people in my chat bot. And you can see the last activity here, which is really cool. Uh, so I have duplicates for all these people and I don't have a phone number or an email for them. So what I can actually do with them is I can add them to a smart list, okay? So I'm gonna click the plus and I'm gonna say chat bot. So now I have a smart list called chatbot and it's right up here and I can just click it and look at that. Isn't that cool? And go through this whole thing. And the other cool thing is I can go like this and then I can click the arrow and go to the next person without leaving the screen, which is really, really cool. Okay, so that's one use case for smart lists. Another one, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go back to all, I'm gonna go to filters, and I actually wanna see everyone who's tagged with agency. And then I wanna see people who I don't have a phone number for. Okay, so these people are people who, uh, who are in my pipeline, but they never set up a meeting with me because they don't, I don't have their phone number. So they could be my affiliate, they could be someone that came in uh, through my email list, and that's cool and everything, I just don't have their phone number. So I can actually add a smart list and say, agency, no phone. So now I have agency, no phone, and I have chatbot. Check that out, how cool is that? Is over here, you can add a filter, and you can say last activity more than 90 days ago. And this is gonna show everyone who is in your contact list that has not been, uh, that has not had any activity for 90 days. Now it looks like this isn't exactly working. That's 
what's supposed to, oh, more than, sorry, more than 90 days, not less than. Let's try that. Okay, so you can see I have some junk in here. Like it's completely empty. So if I want to clean this up, email is empty. And now it looks like I'm just going to go through these real quick. And then I'm going to say first name is empty. So I have 226 people who have literally nothing. And I have no idea why. I have no idea why. That's bizarre. So what I'm going to do is select all of them. Bye bye. <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark. Bye guys. It was nice knowing you. See you later. I'm just going to clean up my list. So it's another good way to clean up your list. And we're going to say phone number is empty. Oh, look, more. There's more here. <laughs> That's so weird, right? OK, cool. So I just clean that up. And in the very near future, uh, you have all these things up here, right? You have add a tag, remove a tag. So you can do that in bulk now. And uh, you can delete them. And you can export them and import them. In the future, they're actually going to make it so that you can send bulk requests through here. And you don't actually have to go create a bulk request. So keep a lookout for that. That's going to be super awesome and exciting because that's like one of the thorns on my side for sending out my weekly newsletter is the bulk request. Uh, so anyway, that's SmartList in a nutshell, guys. I would love to hear in the comments how you use SmartList or how you're going to use SmartList if you have any trouble setting them up. And let me know in the comments. Make sure that you check the link in the description. Sign up for a free 14-day trial of High Level where you will get my free course and my free snapshot. Also, if you don't have a mail provider yet, you can get a link to a free account for Send in Blue. And make sure you like and subscribe so that you don't miss any important videos from me in the future. And I will see you guys next time.